satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. I do have some geopolitical input from the India side. Like the one thing I've learned after talking to Dr. Jai Shankar on the show and all these geopolitical experts we've had on this show is that if the government or a cabinet minister, someone of power makes a certain statement which is related to foreign relations, every word in that statement matters a lot. And we had PM Modi saying that UAE is like a brother. I think that matters a lot in terms of how India views UAE and knowing how UAE culture is, the one thing I know about a lot of people in UAE is that if you open up your heart with a sense of brotherhood, you'll get 10x more brotherhood from the other side. That's, that's very true. And since you mentioned, you know, every word uh, means a lot. One of the biggest fights, if you can call it a fight, whenever an, a joint statement is issued between any two countries is, uh, this word should be removed, we should change this word, <laughs> we should move this word to another sentence, paragraph. And I have done this quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my career <laughs> and trust me every single word matters and so so yes i i i, I get i get what uh, i get what they're uh, talking about uh you mentioned uh brother and 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 yes uh, i get now a lot of comments especially after the most recent two visits uh people just saying uh, good luck brother or uh, best of luck brother or well done brother for example on the marathon and so on so so it it it, it kind of also trickled down to everyone and now everyone sees it the same way uh i know that a, a couple of my colleagues from the embassy also they they get called that by their uh, counterparts uh, here so yeah that's a great response brother <laughs> <laughs> <Good one. laughs> no but i'll tell you on a very practical level what this is for a lot of indians so whenever i'm in uae i have a friend there who's got a nepali guy who works in his kitchen and an indian guy who works as his driver and the indian guy is supporting him. i mean both the guys are supporting their families as well as their kids' dreams through living in dubai and earning in dirhams which matters a lot for the average Indian, Nepali, Pakistani, Sri Lanka. Uh, in terms of they just have higher income opportunities. That's a very base level understanding of the geopolitical relations that a lot of Indians understand between UAE and India. That a lot of people find work there and are able to actually fulfill the dreams of their families. I think that's how a lot of the masses look at UAE specifically. In a sense, we outsource uh, employment. Yes. Uh, so, you know, it, it, we, we have an X number of jobs uh, and all sorts of nationalities could come and, and, uh, and, and be employed in those uh, sectors and be able to provide for their families. And, and this is why uh, you have to also keep in mind that the way we look at uh, all of those uh, people coming in and, and working in the UAE as part of the journey, you know, part of how the UAE has come about uh, part of why the UAE is where it is uh, today, regardless of which sector you work in. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, that's I, why it's important. I gave their example because I want to also talk about the common denominator and then go up to all these real estate billionaires that we see who've come out of India and Pakistan, but built their careers in UAE. So there's a whole spectrum of people who found their careers in your country. So my that's question true. is, over the next 10 to 20 years, how do you guys look at uh, the trajectory of all these people plus say people like myself who I have a stable base in India uh, but there is a strong part of me that wishes to shift to UAE or at least have a base there uh, is that something you guys are looking for do you all want to attract more people or is the population just increased too much there is always an appetite to attract talent and I think uh, if you look at the UAE in the past few years the laws and regulations that have uh, come out have focused on that uh, so, so yes, we do attract people from all nationalities to come and work in all kinds of sectors, but you could see that the spectrum has been widened now and uh, you get physicians with very specific uh, specializations, you get people with talent, you get content creators, uh, you get entrepreneurs uh, and all sorts of people wanting to come and operate in the UAE because the regulatory and other other things, uh, the ecosystem all, all together supports that kind of uh, thing. So, so the way you should look at it is as the country develops, uh, the talents that we want to attract are also being diversified and becoming, you know, not different, 
but the 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 the, the, the spectrum has been widened. Uh, it's a larger pool, and we want to make sure that the UAE is the place for those talents to come and you know uh, to establish a second base or their main base or whatnot to be able to expand and to uh, do business. Other than citizenship, every Indian knows the word golden visa. <laughs> But for the ones that don't, could you explain what a golden visa is? So it's it's residency, uh, and it's it's good to have because it makes your life easier. Uh, it it even even when you get the uh, national ID, which in your case it's uh, it's the Adha, is it Adhar the card? Yeah, the other card. Yes. So we have something similar, uh, and if you're a golden visa holder, it, it actually shows uh, on the card. It shows when uh, you uh, register for any kind of government service. Uh, so it, it, all of this factors in. Uh, so it makes your life much easier, your residency much easier, uh, and you don't have to worry about you know getting the visa or uh, the visa expiring and uh, so on and so forth. How does one qualify better to get it? Uh, being talented. <laughs> <laughs> be of value. Uh, be of value, uh, and you're going to add value to the UAE and add value to the UAE economy. Um, we have all sorts of categories, uh, and quite a few of them uh, focus on uh, content creators, people with, with very specific talents, uh, coming to the UAE and contributing to, to its growth, which also means that uh, having a golden visa doesn't mean that you are necessarily shifting countries. Yeah. It just means that you can operate easier in the UAE wherever you are, whether whether you're an Indian in India or you are from some other nationality elsewhere. Yeah. Uh as a content creator, I love coming to your country for that reason. That every place you go to is very content creation friendly, which I don't know if the average person understands can be a big problem for us in India. Things as simple as if we take out our camera in a public place, sometimes police will come and stop us. And I've been doing YouTube for like nine years of my life, but I never have that problem in UAE. Like I can, I can shoot anywhere almost as long as I'm not troubling other people. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That's very true, uh, and I think because in the UAE um, the system allows for not pre-checks, but uh, if 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 you were if you were someone who was carrying something other than a camera, uh, security-wise, that would have been caught uh, way back, mm. right? Uh, so if you are uh, in downtown and you want to take shots of the Burj or as long as they are not uh, certain installations where it's forbidden and not allowed to uh, to shoot, then, you know, uh, it, it, feel free to do so. Even with even with drone flying, by the way, as long as you get a permit and you are flying within a certain uh, range, then then you're totally fine to do yeah. so. Yeah, it's very, very content creator friendly because all we're looking for is ease of work and great backgrounds. <laughs> you guys have both. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.